Well, good morning. Uh, really good news. It happened actually two days ago, I think it was. And uh, the 14th, um, Wolfton was told no. So I just wanted to make that announcement here. I was going to make it yesterday, but I couldn't get around to doing it. I had a bunch of stuff to get done. But uh, just wanted to thank everybody out there that prayed about the Wolfton mining thing here, just a few miles to the north of us. It would have really ruined the area and uh, could have possibly poisoned the aquifer and everything here. So uh, we've been fighting against that since 2017. We bought this property in September 2017. Wolfton bought their property in November of 2017. And we didn't even know about it until uh, we were buying a wood cook stove from a guy up in Presque Isle, north of us here. And, um, and he said, hey, what do you think about the Wolfton mining thing down in your area? A what? <laughs> we didn't even know about it. And so uh, for a long time now, nearly seven years, uh, we have been fighting this thing. And it has been just uh, very exhausting. And I wanted to build on this property and and then after learning that there could be a mine in the area, it was a, oh great, you know, I don't want to build if there's going to be a mine. So now that Wolfton has been told no by the Land Use Planning Commission, now we can move forward and we can decide, are we going to build on the property? We don't have to leave now the area and everything else. Um, so uh, thank you. Like I said, everybody out there that prayed, I really do appreciate that. Um, and now we have to pray about what direction to go in the future. Um, so, an interesting thing there. But uh, if you're hearing a lot of crunching right now with my crunching here, it's not the snow actually today. I have on, uh, see if I can get my camera down here, I have crampons on. They help you to walk in the snow. We used to get these little cheap, you know, slip them on your shoes. They have little wires underneath or little little studs or something like that. And they, they come off on the side and they're miserable things to help you walk in the ice. And um, so I saw crampons and I thought, I think I'm just going to go with that. <laughs> and I uh, can't exactly wear these into stores or into the house or anything, but, but uh, right now underneath where I'm standing here, the lane, the driveway is just solid ice because it warms up and it melts and then it freezes at night and then it turns into just a solid sheet of ice. I tried to come out here just with my regular shoes on this morning, get a little bit of snow on top of the ice, it gets really slippery. And uh, I just about broke my neck, so I thought, now I'm gonna go back and get the crampons on. So uh, to those of you that are snow sensitive or whatever, <laughs> like the, don't like the sound of crunching snow, well, I don't know what to tell you. So unlocking the gate here, our high security gate. Um, it's been working very well, actually. We've had a number of people try to come back here and we catch them on our cameras. Um, <clears throat> and, uh, but they get, they don't go past the gate because it'd be like kind of, you know, opening up the door to somebody's property. So thankfully they haven't gone through the gate yet. Uh, not that saying that people wouldn't try that, but Whatever, but uh, one other thing I need to talk about here is um, the study that I'm doing. And um, I said in another video about I have a big study coming out on the end times and uh, the relationship between the Jews and the Catholics. And, you know, it's a pretty big one. And uh, the Lord's been putting all these different cross references in my mind. Well, that would prove this and this would line up with that and this goes over to this verse and that verse and whatever. And so I've been trying to fit it all into one study and it's not happening. And uh, yesterday I was trying to work on a little bit and I'm just, it's becoming something I was getting overwhelmed with. And, you know, there are certain studies that you can do certain sermons that are just kind of milk doctrine or whatever, but you get into the really heavy meat type of stuff and it's very difficult. Um, when it comes to serving somebody milk, it's fairly easy. You just kind of put it in a cup and there you go. You can do certain things with milk, you know, um, but when it comes to meat, 
uh, there's a lot of different ways to cook meat and prepare meat and everything else and using that as a way to, you know, symbolically about the scriptures. And so uh, what this study is going to be, it's going to be kind of like the King Jesus version studies where I had, you know, what, five or six, seven different studies or something like that. And um, all related to the King Jesus version subject, but breaking down different points of it. So, and, you know, kind of like the Godhead thing as well. Um, you can't really preach everything in the scriptures about the Godhead in just one study. So this subject is going to be very detailed and it's going to be multiple, multiple parts to it. So, um, you know, if you uh, pray for the ministry, then you could pray about that. I would appreciate it. The Lord would help me to get this whole thing put together and make sense of it. And uh, really a very interesting subject. So it's not going to be, I was saying maybe in a week or so, I don't know. Um, it's something that I just, there's sometimes I feel an urgency from the Lord, you know, I need to get this done. And there's other times that the Lord just kind of says to me, take your time. Uh, this is not something that you rush. Uh, you need to just, you know, slow down a little bit here, son. So that's where I'm at with that. But um, I will be coming out with that at some point in time here. And um, if we decide that uh, we're going to start building again on the property here, um, small little structures and whatever else, then that's going to be definitely a lot of time away from the ministry, which uh, I think I've earned a little bit of time away from the ministry <laughs> after all these years of uh, a couple videos a week many times and, and stuff. So we'll see. Uh, I know one of you put in the comments about Brother Brian, don't destroy your family like uh, Ruckman and uh, Phelps have done and a lot of other preachers do. And uh, I've known a lot of preachers over the years and I've seen them ruin their families. Um, the One of the worst kids in the church that I grew up in was the pastor's son. And um, he was a problem, really made a lot of issues. And my father the one time was teaching Sunday school and um, Andy was the boy's name. And uh, he was being bad. And my father said, one more outburst out of you and I'm going to go right upstairs and interrupt the service. And I'm going to uh, tell your father. And uh, Andy didn't listen. And my father followed through with his word and uh, took him right up to his father. And he was teaching the adult Sunday school class and said, Pastor, I need to talk to you. Brought him over and he said, your son's been doing this and that and whatever. And most people didn't have the guts to do that. But uh, my father didn't uh, have any respect of, oh, you're, he's the pastor. Don't, don't say anything against his son or something. Um, like I said, a lot of other people did. So, but, uh, so that should be it. But thank you again to everybody out there that prayed about the Wolfton thing. They could technically appeal the decision of the Land Use Planning Commission. But at this point, I don't think that they will. I mean, there's a lot of big organizations got involved in the anti-Wolfton thing. The uh, National Audubon Society and a bunch of other big organizations. So it'd be foolish for Wolfton to try to come back around and, oh, we'll get our way or something like that. That would be a bad idea. So uh, that will be it. And we'll see you in future videos. Thank you for watching.